like a physics course, and the first thing you start doing in physics is the law, Newton's law of inertia, the first law, objects at rest tend to stay at rest, and objects in motion tend to stay at motion, and here I have, oh yes, I forget, I have insurance on my body, but not my glasses. <laughs> okay, here we have a bunch of objects that are at rest on the table, and if I put enough of an acceleration on the tablecloth underneath them, these objects should stay at rest and not come off in my face. This is, of course, my best china. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that's objects at rest tend to stay at rest. Uh, Objects in motion tend to stay in motion. Here I have two objects uh, that I can put into motion and illustrate how they tend to stay in motion unless acted upon by some upside push or pull. Uh, actually, Aristotle considered these things many, many years ago uh, in ancient Greeks, and he found that an object, uh, if given a push, tend to stay in motion, tended to come to rest. And he considered that the natural state, which is what I believe my wife considers me to be in my natural state. <laughs> I'm an object at rest, tending to stay at rest most of the time. Uh, but if he would have had a little hovercraft like this, he would have seen that if you give it a push, it stays in motion in a straight line, unless acted upon by another force, and that then changes its motion. So coupled with staying at rest, there's also staying in uniform motion. Now, the next of the Newton's laws is the deviations from motion, constant motion. Uh, and that is F equals MA. And so that the response of an object depends on how much mass it has, how big it is, how heavy it is. You all know that. I mean, you don't go out, that's why the linemen in the football team are real big, okay? They like to stay there. And to put them into motion is very difficult. To move them out of the way. So here I have a very light object, and so I give him a push, and he goes flying off at a fairly good speed. The rest of these won't do that. <laughs> uh, here's a little heavier object, and we put a force on him, and he doesn't go really as far. See, I thought we had it right. And then finally, here's a lead brick, and you almost can't get him to move. His mass is so large that it just stays at rest, and you can even put your hand on top of it, underneath it, and you can beat on it, and it doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> because of its large mass. Okay, so those are Newton's laws of motion. Uh, and now the next one that we typically talk about, let me see, we're up to... Oh, yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, the next one is a real sleeper of a law. It's the Newton's third law. You push me, I'll push you just as hard, but no harder law. And so that I have to have two objects that are going to push on each other, and there's a balloon. get harder to blow up every year, I don't know, the air must <laughs> At any rate, uh, here's a two-part system, and the air inside is going to be pushed in one direction, and the balloon's going to be pushed in the other direction. You've all done this before, it's a shooting ground. <laughs> like that so much. So what they like is for me to take the place of the balloon. Uh, and so I'm going to use the uh, very high pressure gas inside this cylinder right here, and I'm going to shoot the gas in one direction. This is one you don't want to try, okay? I'm going to shoot the gas in high velocity in one direction, and it's going to exert an equal and opposite force in me in the other direction. And I'm going to put in my old college football helmet, which you notice is cracked on the side. I did that. Uh, it explains a lot of my behavior since then, right? Uh, oh, oh, thanks. That's right, I forgot about my glasses, too. And we've got, we aren't getting anyone else up there, have we? Okay, good. Okay. you notice that I hold this very strangely. Cell phones? Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's set to 911. <laughs> of course, uh, the other my doctor. <laughs> okay, let's see. I have to hold this very strangely so it pushes on the center of me. And uh, let's see how this goes. I have to work my courage up there. Okay, here, here we go.